in the next chapter of this course on SQL for business analysts, we are now going to discuss the joins. Joins probably are the most important concepts for business analysts. This is one concept which you are going to use again and again in your day-to-day -day life if you're working as a business analyst. So this is the course tracker. Right now we are at the chapter on joints in SQL. In this session, we are going to look at the concepts of joints. We'll try and understand what are the different types of joints, which are inner, left, right, and full joints. And we'll be doing a few examples. In the next one, we'll be doing exercises on joints. Let's first try and understand what are joints. So as the name suggests, it's about joining two sets of data represented here in the form of sets. So sets are nothing but sets of data which are logically connecting to one particular concept. In this case, employees, the set of employees represents data pertaining to the employees. Similarly, the set of orders represents data pertaining to orders. So it could be, if we try and look these two things together, we can say employees are placing orders or employees are taking orders. It could be any kind of functionality in the system. Now, if you want to know the names of the employees who are taking orders, we need to join these two sets. Because in a typical software database, the orders table will not have names of the employees. Employees table will have the names of the employees. In order to get the names of the employees who took particular orders, we need to combine these two tables. That is where the concept of joins comes into play. So in order to join them, we need to have something which is common between them. And that common data is used to join the two tables. Typically in these setups, what is common between them is the employee ID. So the orders table will have employee IDs and the employees table will also have the employee ID. That is what we'll be using to join the two tables. So when we are joining these two tables, what we are trying to do, we are trying to take the common set of data between these two tables or between amongst more than two tables. Joins can be for two tables or it could be more than two tables. There's no restriction as such. So when you're trying to da take data, which is common between, for example, two tables, we are going to use joins. And this kind of join is known as inner join in Oracle. In order to do that, we need to use a query which is going to be similar to what is written. So we'll be using select, select we saw in the previous chapter, the names of the columns which we want. It could be from either employees table and the other table or the other table. Then the names of the tables and the common key between them, they, that has to be equated. So the key of key in table one is equal to key in table two, which was employee ID here and the employee ID here. Now, if it is a department's table, then we are talking about some other kind of relationship. But when it was employees and orders, it was employees who took orders. So the orders table will also have employee ID. So in that case, employee ID of two tables will be equated. In case of employees and departments, we are talking about names of the departments or departments where employees are currently posted. In that case, the relationship will be on department. 
so the department id from departments table will be equal to the department's id of the employees in the employees table so in order to look at some examples let's look at the tables which we are going to use for this particular session this is the employee table in the oracle database which is available to us i will be shortly taking you to the editor also the second table is the locations table where there is a generic information about all the locations identified by location id so every department will have some location and there are other tables like departments table jobs table jobs history table describing various aspects of the employees so let's take an example to see how joins work so in this case we are looking to get all the employees with their department names as you know employees and departments are two different tables the names of the departments will be in the department names departments table and the employees will be in the employees table in order to get that information we need to write a query like this we will be equating the department id in the employees table and the same column in the department departments table so that's how we'll combine these two because that's the only column which is common between these two tables and in the select part we'll be writing all the columns which we want so we want four columns so that has appeared and in the from we'll be writing the two tables which we are joining so let's go to the table editor and then write this query so we are trying to find out data from two tables so let me first run the basic query from the tables to show you what kind of data we have so in the employees table we have employee id first name last name email phone number job id other columns including the department id okay and there are 107 rows here let's also look at the departments table and see what we do we have there so you have department name and other columns including department id as you can see there there is only one column which is common between these two tables so in order to get that data we need to write something like this so what do we want we want employee id comma first underscore name last underscore name and the department underscore name this is what we want from hr dot employees and hr dot departments then we'll have the join condition where the department id from this table is equal to the department id in the department table this is what will be our query when we run it we get all the employees with their department names as you can see there is there are 106 rows instead of 107 rows why because one of the employees has not been assigned any department there can we can do one small improvement in this particular case here you can see that to write the column names we have used this long syntax there is a concept in most of the databases is like this so you can give an alias to the tables and then we can simply use the alias to refer to those tables the result will remain the same as you can see we can shorten the length of the query which we are writing so this is an example of writing an inner join 
this was a simple example let's take one more example where we are going to generate a report for all the departments in hr schema the report should display department name street address city and state now city and state are not in the department schema as we have seen already it's not in the department state so where is it available this is available in the table named as hr dot locations so city and street address is available in location state so now we what we need is the join between the departments and the location state let's name it as a and how they are going to be connected they are going to be connected through location i so now it will become a dot location id and b dot location id right now we need to change the fields which we want so now we want department underscore name comma street address city and state province so now we'll get this information which we wanted by joining now two different tables okay so the concept remains the same no matter which two tables we are joining what if we want to combine or join multiple tables maybe three tables okay so in that case what we want to know we want to know the employees their departments and the city which they are in it is possible that one department of an organization may be in multiple city so now we are talking about joining three tables let's look at joining how can we combine three tables so now we also need to have the employees table as we have discussed earlier the table names and the syntax call syntax like select and from are not case sensitive in our it it does not matter which case you are writing okay uh, typically you can write use a particular case like upper case to differentiate between different key terms in the query so now we need employee name which was first name comma last underscore name department name street address which we don't need we need city let's say we also want state province okay so these are the columns which you want now the question would arise how will you join these three okay so always remember a simple formula the number of tables minus 1 should be the number of joins at least so if there are three tables which are going to be joined they should have at least two joins okay so now we have joined table a and b now we have to find out are b and c connected that means is there any connection between departments and the employees table or no they are not connected sorry they are connected through department id columns as we have seen in our previous example so now let's combine them we'll see b dot department underscore id is equal to c dot department underscore id there's one small spelling mistake now if we run it now we get the employee name the department the city and the state form can see we have got all the information which we are looking at 
Okay, so uh, that's the end of this particular session. In the next session, we'll be 